Hello everyone and welcome again in STM8 as assembly language programming tutorial. In the last tutorial, we left uh, to turn on our LED. In today's tutorial, we are going to blink that LED on. So first of all, we need to look into our uh, programming manual to see what we have in for our instructions to we uh, uh, for this tutori tutorial and uh, in our mapping.inc we are seeing that we have two RAM areas to declare our variables so today we are going to declare some of our variables in our RAM location if you haven't checked my ASTM uh, if my 8051 LED blink tutorial the, uh, that tutorial will going to help you a lot so go back and check the tutorial or just finish this tutorial and uh, also look that uh, as well the link you can get in from the description or the i icon uh, appearing right to the left of the screen uh, right of the screen and uh, you can see in the mapping.inc we have two kind of rams one is uh, you need to access with the help of uh, 16-bit uh, registers and uh, the RAM 0 you can access uh, from 8-bit register because the RAM 0 address is 0 to FF it means it is a 8-bit address you can access with the 8-bit registers so we are going to use RAM 0 in our today's tutorial so let's quickly add uh, some labels for our uh, over registers the raw register these are just a raw registers we can name uh, whatever you like but I am going to make these registers R0 as be, uh, to make it uh, compatible with my 8051 related code because I'm coming from the 8051 background if you are coming from 8051 background as well this is gonna help you a lot in 8051 we are whenever we uh, write an address in a hexadecimal location we are uh, used to provide an H after uh, this is an Intel style but in SCM8 the addressing is uh, the number system is Motorola style and we need to provide a dollar sign to denote that we are providing a hexadecimal value just we did in our PB DDR CR1 and ODR register declaration so that was uh, we need to create a human vis uh, uh, visible delay if we are creating a human visible delay we need to create at least three register delays uh, so we are creating a three uh, registers for um, or three very eight bit variables in location zero one and two so that's all now we need to create a function we haven't created any function before this is called a subroutine in assembly uh, we are calling it delay three because we are using a three register delay function so first of all what we are gonna do is to move some number in our register let's say I'm going to move r3 with the number 255 here I, I added a dollar sign a hash sign it means that we, I am providing a number and uh, 255 a mean without any notation means that this is a decimal value not a hexadecimal value so uh, in r3 let's say i am going to uh, keep this number short uh, if you increase this number very lo uh, very big it is create a delay very large delay because of three register delay function and um, for R2, I am adding a 255 and for R1, R, uh, okay, so let's change from um, R0, here we need to put R2 and uh, let's move R2 to uh, 1 and 0, okay so in r0 as well i am adding number zero now first of all we need to decrement this r0 until it is gone zero what we have instruction for this it is dec or decrement and uh, all we need to do is provide a uh, operand of r0 next we need to check if the uh, uh, arithmetic instruction which is decrement instruction result in a zero it makes r0 or not 0 j r n e this will denote that jump if jump relative if not equal to 0 and uh, <clears throat> it will jump to the a label d3 l1 we haven't created d3 l1 label uh, so far so we are going to create this label right here okay 
so it will keep decrementing r0 until it is 0 so next we are decrementing over r1 register and if it is not 0 it is going to uh, check and uh, moving to d3l2 so where we have d3l2 it is right here it will refill r0 register and start decrementing r0 again so until r1 is 0 it is going to refill r0 uh, r0 every time and decrementing until r0 is the, uh, the value in the register of r0 is actually 0 so it will keep refilling and decrementing refilling and decrementing it will do it 255 multiplied by 255 times so when it will out from this line it will keep doing it 255 multiplied by 255 time so when we are down here we are finally going to decrement r2 register over final register and when we uh, decrement r2 we are if it is not zero we are going to location of our d3 l1 and uh, l3 and where we provide l3 label it will be right here where it again refill r1 so first of all we refill r0 next we are going to refill r1 and we are not going to refill r2 so when r2 is also 0 all we're gonna do is return from this function so here it will keep repeating 5 multiplied by 255 multiplied by 255 times so this loop is gonna uh, loop until my 5 multiplied by 255 multiplied by 255 so these number of cycles will be um, wasted of the microcontroller to uh, toggle an led the instruction in uh, of stm8 instruction set we have is bcpl so this instruction will complement the bit and we are keeping this led from port b pin 5 because we are using the same onboard led on stm 8 s 103 f3 group will board and uh, here we need to call this delay function we just created right so we are calling delay 3 and we are again jumping to the main so that's all for our led blink code and creating a delay in assembly language let's compile and see we do not have any errors and let's reload the value in stvp and program this into our microcontroller and when you reset your microcontroller you will see your led blinking at approximately half second delay rate so that's all for led blinking code of and creating a delay function in stm8s microcontroller uh, subscribe if you want to more videos for on the same topic and embedded system development related and stay tuned thank you